Hardware How-To for CPS. Let's unpack your CPS Pulse Class Pack. The contents are CPS Pulse Clickers, CPS RF Hub, CPS Software. Next, install the CPS Software. You can either install it from the CD that came with the kit. We do recommend you get the latest version from our website. Plug in the CPS RF receiver into an open USB port. Once the blue light is solid, the receiver has been detected by the device manager. After the receiver was plugged in, you want to verify that it was recognized. Click on the e-instruction tools launch the e-instruction device manager. This will show you that the CPS RF receiver was successfully detected by the device manager. Next we want to test the system. So I'm going to click on the receiver, I'm going to click on the properties tab. Next I'm going to click on test. I'm going to click on start receiver at this point, I'm going to turn on my clickers. With the clickers on, I'm now going to send responses. And as they arrive, they will be shown here. Now that you've been able to see the data, you know that the student response pads are communicating properly with the receiver. Hardware how-to for CPS.